world there too. So these do dry out for you. Yeah, they they uh police mud snakes. Whoa! What is up, guys? So I know for a lot of you, air conditioning is loud when you drive through at Starbucks because I am on the road. I am currently on my way to Illinois for the weekend where I'm gonna be visiting with a couple friends and we're gonna be looking for snakes up there. So I had about an eight hour drive today. I'm about halfway through it now. Um, currently in Nashville, Tennessee, uh, grabbing a drink at Starbucks and something to eat so that I can finish this drive. But then tomorrow and the next day, I'm gonna be getting out with friends and we're going to be chasing snakes. I'm hoping to be able to make two videos out of this trip at least, maybe more if it's incredible. Um, I'll probably roll into town about 11 o'clock tonight, 10 o'clock tonight. Well, this is not how I wanted the trip to start. I am on the side of the interstate in Illinois changing my tire. I'm gonna have to put this spare on and get the uh, full thing looked at at the tire shop. Not a good start to the trip. Good morning, everyone. Last time you saw me, I was stranded on the side of the interstate with a flat tire, but we dropped my car off at the tire shop. Um, unfortunately, Chad's going to puncture his tire on the opposite <laughs> lane's curb. <laughs> Anyways, I am here with Chad, hey. and we are headed out not to Illinois to Herp. We are in Illinois currently. We're gonna do that tomorrow. Today we're headed to Missouri to meet up with a couple guys over there and to look for the Western Pygmy Rattlesnake, my, my ultimate nemesis in the Midwest that I've pretty much missed for the past four years. Um, pretty pretty uh, concentrated efforts have gone into finding this little rattlesnake for me. And it's one that I really love and I'd really love to see so hopefully we're gonna get that done today. It's nice and foggy right now. It should remain mostly cool throughout the day, but nice and humid. Um, hopefully we just don't get rained on, which is a, a very possible thing. So I will check in with you guys when we get to the spot. Nice little roadside rock to start the day. Bracer. Nice. First Illinois snake. Well, I lied. Our first stop was in Illinois, and our first snake in Illinois, a little southern black racer, I'm assuming. But uh, just going to put this guy back. Pretty common, but nice to be on the board. We are out here in some killer habitat looking for pygmies. It's misting. Hopefully they'll be out. Matt just flipped this little guy. First herp I've seen here. A little southern redback salamander. Interestingly enough, the exact same species we have in Georgia. Beautiful little three-toed box turtle hanging out on the railroad track. All right, guys, here's the first snake I've seen in Missouri, a little ring neck. We've seen a couple of these today, but I haven't seen any of them yet. The other guys flipped them, but perfect habitat. Rocks to flip. Chad just hiked a milk snake. Well, tragically enough, this milkshake is not milk. <laughs> <laughs> this milk snake is not in the best shape, but he would be really cool looking if he was freshly shed and didn't have some manner of disease. Well, there you go, my first Missouri milk snake that Chad spotted out on the crawl, being a sickly boy. <laughs> But anyways, we are going to leave this guy to it and keep looking for pygmies. Pretty nice way to start the day if you ask me. Disappointing that he's looking a little rough, but otherwise that would be a really sick looking snake. Still really just the one milk snake in terms of significant. Got a brown snake? Let me see that guy. Very nice. Little, little brown snake. My first Missouri brown snake, Chad. Can you believe that? Kind of interesting. Just flipped a little flathead snake. You saw a lot of these in Oklahoma. But it's a pretty good find for Missouri, right? 
Um, not really. Um, it's an interesting find for this locality because okay. we don't really see them here very often, but certain glades in Missouri, they can be really abundant. That's just a locally good find. Yeah. Alrighty, buddy. Oh. Wow, he does not want to go back under Jurok. Easy. Hey, Matt! Timber! Where am I looking? Oh, yeah. Wow. Holy goodness, he is huge. Look at him looking at me. Dude, that's a big rattlesnake. <laughs> Look at that. Walk slow when you come up to where yeah, Noah is. Yeah, he is like right in front of me, down this ledge. All right, baby, I'm sorry. All right, you guys, we're gonna leave this beautiful timber right here, try not to disturb it. There is our second timber of the day. Unfortunately, we're not gonna get much of a look at this guy because he's tucked back in his hole. But pretty cool, vipers are out. We just gotta find the pygmy. That is pretty cool. Oh, you got them Look at that. Arms. Kyle just spotted my life or Western Pygmy right here. And that's a different one than the one y'all yeah, see in the Yeah, that's not old one eye. That's a new one. That's awesome. a little one. Like a foot or two off the ground, maybe. Mm -hmm. Look at that. It's a little bit on the dull side, but still a good looking snake. My life for Western Pygmy. The curse has been lifted. All right, guys. Well, this was exactly what I was hoping to see in Missouri today. And these guys were able to put me on, finally, my life for Western Pygmy. Um, so basically what we're gonna do with the rest of the day is hit an area for mud snakes and other cool aquatic stuff here in Missouri. And then maybe if we have time after that, hit some milk snake stuff on the way back to Illinois. But, I mean, day's made right here. It was already pretty good with the milk and the timbers, but this is just icing on the cake so far. I was hoping it was going to be a mud. <laughs> Matt just nabbed a nice-looking little plain-bellied water snake at our first stop, or I guess our next stop for the day. This guy's actually handsome. I picked it up and it... This is the, the money mud? I believe so. Yeah, oh, I, I think it's the same as a mole, ain't it? I think it's a different... No, this is not it. More crayfish. Do you get them like underwater? Yeah. I like the, oh, saw something. Dead crayfish, maybe? Yep, I got one of that. Don't net it. No. Grab if you see. Yeah, that looked like something swirled there, too. So these do dry out pretty quickly. Yeah, they, they, uh. Police mud snakes! Yeah. Whoa! There was another one. Was there? Yeah, down this hole, I think. <laughs> what on earth? That's a good looking. Look at this snake. Missouri Western Mud Snake. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, mole. Might be a talpoidium. Definitely looks like it. Yeah, it's got a really flat head. A little larval mole salamander. Pretty cool. We're gonna photograph this guy and put him back under his mat. Dude, this thing is. This thing is just straight fat. It's so beefy for a short boy. That is insane. It's definitely a boy. Look at that Fresh bulgy. Shed. All right, guys. Any na any second now, Chad's gonna burst out and say <laughs> something horrific. <laughs> I'll be quiet. But there we go. Exactly what we were hoping to see here. We're gonna do a little kicking around, see if we can turn up an amphiuma, and then afterwards we're gonna go hang out in Milk Snake Land. And see if we can turn up a less crusty milk, but look at that. This is my this is my fourth state I've seen Western mud snakes in. It is Louisiana, Texas, Oklahoma, and Missouri. These are my favorite representatives of the Francia genus. Uh, a lot of people like the rainbow snakes the best, but I just think these Western muds have the best contrast and just the most insane looking bellies of of really anything we have in the United States. They don't they don't look real frankly. And as you can see, the, seeing that flash of red and the black when you flip up a piece of cover is just, it's better than, better than most things you could possibly flip anywhere. Um, so definitely a highlight for the day. We're going to let this guy go and probably go hit up some milk snake stuff after kicking around a little bit. Didn't go under. All right, we're going to see if that other mud that looked like there was two under here is back up. Doesn't look like it. Alrighty, releasing the mud snake. 
under his little piece of cover. That is so nuts. <laughs> hey, I just need to Chad almost that. stepped on a cotton mouth. Jesus. Look at that. They make them all right over here. Yeah, it's a nice clean little uh, western cotton mouth. Um. <laughs> what is he doing? Look at this guy. As you can see, cotton mouse don't chase you. They do the opposite of chasing you. All for that story. <laughs> Wish it wouldn't have happened. That's a kind of weird thing to flip. I was not expect. Oh, frig, frog. There is a small mouse salamander under this log. So superficially, this guy looks a lot like the maybe salamander that I found earlier in the winter this year. But and they are kind of like a western cousin, but. Not expecting to see this guy at all today, given how warm it is, but pretty cool surprise. I'll take it. We're going to put it back under his log and keep flipping. We were really hoping to see an anthiuma, but I don't think it's going to happen. But that is pretty cool. I will take it. Yeah. Kyle got a nice little broadbanded water snake, a new species for the trip. Fortunately in shed, but these are can be a pretty, really good-looking Erodia species sometimes. Hey, bye. Well done. We got a cottonmouth party going on right here. There's one right there. There's another one through the bush right there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But look at this little baby. Beautiful little guy. I love the baby westerns, how they're kind of like black. Like, they're not as colorful. It's a cool look. That is a big broadband. Look at that thing. Pretty, too. I wonder if he'll, uh, light's going to be kind of bad, but he might let us get a photo of him sitting there. Look at that guy. Second broad bend of water snake. Look at this guy. Wow. Holy crap, that's a nice. <laughs> Look at this guy. Holy balls. This is an insane looking box turtle. Absolutely stunning. Probably one of the nicest ones I've ever seen. Beautiful three-toed box turtle. We're doing a little road cruising now, hoping to see some snakes on the road, but I mean, look at that. All right, buddy, get out of here. Stay out of the road. Is he gone? Oh. There's a big ditch right there. I see. That's all. Oh, I got it. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Dude, so much metal I know when it hurts. Big yellow belly? Yeah. Nice. Another turtle rescue. There he goes. All right, guys, quite the drastic change of scenery from where we have been today. We're out here walking around in this beautiful sand prairie in southern Missouri, hoping to see the dusty hognose snake or anything else we can turn up here. There's a couple of rarities here that are really only found in this area in Southern Missouri. Hog noses, uh, dusty hog noses, scarlet snakes are here, interestingly enough. This does not really look like the kind of place you'd expect a scarlet snake, but they're here. So we're gonna walk around, maybe see if we can find some stuff to flip and uh, hopefully we'll turn up some snakes. Check that out. Lesson, Just hiked the Prairie King. Chad almost stepped on him. Look at that. It's not in shed either. Look at that, Prairie King snake. My first from, ow, wow, I've never been bit by one of these from Missouri. Pretty cool. Alrighty, here's one more look at this Prairie King snake I just found before I let it go. But check that out. Kind of a dull one, but obviously Prairie Kings are always fun to see because they're similar to our Mole Kings back home but a little bit more dull, but equally as secretive and sometimes just as hard to find. All right, we found some tin. 
there's a dead bird under there. What is he doing? <laughs> Matt just nabbed this little racer out of a tree. You heard him from way back here. That was pretty yeah, impressive. Was in the grass oh, somewhere. we took off and went up the tree. Gotcha. Yeah. What well, next snake of the day? He's gonna bite me. All right, buddy. All right. That is random. There's a funny, one that yeah. I a solid black racer. little little rat hanging out oh, yeah. just in the prairie. That was unexpected. Ooh. Y'all good? Let's see this guy. Look at that. That's a cool ventral too. That is that not a really weird thing to see in yeah. this habitat though? Super bizarre. So strange. Anyways, we're gonna let this guy go, keep hiking. There's definitely a lot of snakes moving, so we're hoping to get a hog. Alright, on with your day, friend. <laughs> Holy crap! Jesus <laughs> Christ! Nice Did you, you get, get all of them went back that way? We got the garter snake. I got two of the racers. <laughs> two. One with that so we've got two racers and one garter. That's what I call a good flip. That's a big garter. Two racers, a monster Same garter. Racers Three racers, right? One got yeah, away, one didn't got it? Away. That's pretty sick. Yeah. Alrighty, eastern garter snake. Not really something I was expecting to see here either, but let him go. All right, guys, we are headed back to Chad's for the night, but we saw this board on the side of the highway. Mm. Okay. Not too bad looking. Anyways, that is going to be it for the day. And uh, hopefully I got enough for a full video today. I'm assuming I did. But tomorrow we are going out in Southern Illinois in search of red milk snakes. So I will see you guys then. I lied, there he is. Hey, it's a diamondback oh, it's a water snake. Look, Look at that, that Look at a little, little grumpy guy. That's pretty cool, I'm not expecting that. Yeah. First diamondback water snake of the trip cruise on the way back to Chad's. We're just gonna move this guy off the road.